Hey, how many of you do your solar installations without using your temperature sensor? Raise your hands up. I want to see you. You? I want to see you. Come on. How can you do that? That's it's extremely dangerous. All right. So the best I can do for you is to give you a second chance. So right now, I'm going to be your priest and you be that man who's confessing your sins to me. Now, go and say no more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you, okay? And here is the temperature sensor. So if you want to find out how important the temperature sensor is in your solar system installations and how and why and of course the functions, you definitely have to stick around because I will be right here. Hey, it's still the usual suspects. My name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, now will be a good time, all right? We officially want to make you a member of this community, all right? So that you're always updated about what's going on in and around the world of solar technology. And of course, the more you subscribe, comment, like, and share, this information can get to more people, all right? So if the information is useful to you it should get to someone else right <laughs> so don't forget to click that subscription button right now okay before you forget and of course don't forget to comment don't forget to like and do not forget to share so sensors are nothing new all right so everything pretty much around us it's censored let's look at your car for instance if you start your car the very first thing in the morning you will notice with some keen observation that the fans won't come on all right so the fans are that device that is dedicated to control the temperature just cool the radiators and all of that and if you also look a little bit closer you will notice that the temperature indicator is going to move from the very cold position where it is to somewhere in the middle between cold and hot all right so when it gets to that point it will stop and that's when your fans will come on so everything pretty much is about control so the sensor at that point is telling the car that it's gotten to its operational temperature so every car has an operational temperature all right that allows it to work normal so the sensor needs to ensure that that operational temperature is stabilized for the car to function properly and that's how it is in your solar system all right so, so the temperature sensor reads the ambient voltage in your battery bank all right so and sends that message or the signal to your charge controller so your charge controller reads the temperature in your battery bank through your temperature sensor all right and once it does that once it determines what the temperature is in your battery bank it applies a temperature compensation to ensure that the battery is not undercharged or overcharged so if you have uh, a cold battery you might require more current to charge it if you have a hot battery or a warm battery you might require low voltage or low current to charge the batteries okay so that is very important it's very important that the charge controller and the inverter apply temperature compensation in your battery to ensure that the battery is properly charged not on the charge and with this type of situation having the temperature sensor working with inverter and charge controller is going to make the battery to last a very long time so the reason most batteries die off is because there's no temperature sensor connected to the charge controller or the inverter so the inverter and the charge controller just essentially charges the battery randomly okay so it can determine if the battery is hot if the battery is cold and if you have a very hot battery and you're using a very high voltage or high current to charge it it will definitely kill the cells of the battery and make the battery not to last as much as it would have okay so it's important that you always have the temperature sensor connected to your battery bank to ensure that the right reading of the temperature in your battery bank is sent to the charge controller and so that the charge controller will compensate in terms of temperature to be able to give you a harmonized and beautiful charging system for your batteries okay so how do you connect your temperature sensor to your charge controller and then to your batteries to ensure that they have a synchronized uh, reading and they are the same page as regards to the battery temperature ambience in your battery bank so i'll show you guys a little bit of how to do that okay so um for this is a charge controller here so i'm going to use this charge controller to do a demonstration so that you see it so this is an outback mppt charge controller but for other charge controllers you know um, usually have the temperature sensor port just 
on the surface of the body here okay but for the outback i'm going to use this to do a demonstration for this particular charge controller you would need to open up this cover before you can gain access to the port where you can plug okay. in the temperature sensor um socket all right so you would have to open up this um cover to ensure that you have access to it okay so there you go so here is where you plug in your temperature sensor all right so it's basically plugged in here so you just basically plug it into the charge controller and when you plug it into the charge controller you drop it into your battery bank okay so i will explain this a little bit further so it's plugged in here you will see the temperature sensor port which is usually provided by um, charge controller manufacturers okay um, there's always a port where you can plug in uh, the temperature sensor socket all right so when you do that um, you need to drop this inside the battery bank all right because some um, battery manufacturers will tell you that you need to connect it to the negative terminal of the battery. Okay, because I've done my own practical research, you know, and I've come to discover that the top of the battery where this sensor is going to be sensing, if you connect it to the negative terminal, it's going to be sensing the heat from the top cover of the battery. The top cover of the battery will be cold, while the downside here is going to be very warm. And the reason is very simple because down here is where you have the cells the plates and you have the electrolyte and all of that so when it's charging there's activities here and it all kind of warms up and heats up and all of that so it will make more sense for the temperature sensor to be in here so that it can sense the accurate reading of the temperature ambience in your battery bank so that uh, your charge controller and your inverter will be able to add uh, temperature compensation to ensure that the batteries are properly charged so it's important so do not connect it to i don't think it's really so cool it won't give you the accurate reading uh if you connect it to the negative terminal of the battery some of the temperature sensors so comes with a sticker so all you need to do is to drop it down here and you stick it to the sides of the battery okay so right in here it will be able to give you the real accurate reading of what is going on the temperature level of your battery so that your charge controller and your inverter will do the needful and ensure that the batteries are well catered for well cared for and ensure that your battery lasts very long so this in itself could account for so many battery failures all right some people put batteries and then six months the batteries are gone probably the batteries are even installed in very enclosed areas and all of that and the battery is all heating up and that affects the lifespan of the battery so always ensure that whenever you're doing your installation that you connect the temperature sensor some people will tell you that it doesn't really matter because a lot of installations are done Done without the temperature sensor and some people will tell you that it's really not necessary but but think about it for one second let's use Schneider for example uh, this guy produces thousands of inverters in a year so if they thought for one second that this wasn't necessary to be added to their product why would they be producing it do you know how much they will save just removing this component in this very large amount of inverters and charge controllers that they produce over the years so i think this is really very important this is very cool sensors are very important to be able to help you to regulate normalize the charging levels okay to ensure that the real charging current or the real charging voltage is dispensed to the batteries all right, so that's the very much we can do today. Thank you so very much, guys, for being part of this. We appreciate you being part of this. If you haven't subscribed, hey, what are you waiting for? Now it's a good time for you to subscribe, all right? From today, henceforth, you are in the solar community. You're welcome officially. We would love to have you on board, okay? Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to share. And do not forget to like. Of course, the more you subscribe, the more you share, the more you like, more people can get to watch the videos and also solve the same problem. All right, guys, thank you very much. My name is Tilly Kenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. See you guys in the next video.